I'm here at Dodge Elementary School, the most dynamic school in the planet, and I'm here with Mr. Smilinich and Mrs. Shad. And please tell me, what are the amazing things that are happening at Dodge here in the last weeks of school? I'll tell you this, we just had our field day yesterday, which was an amazing success put on by our physical education teachers. We had an absolute blast. Uh, we also have our second grade play, which is gonna be an outside movie next, uh, next week. We have our fourth grade graduation, our fourth grade picnic. The events just keep going on by our class activities being outside. It's an amazing time to end the school year and what a time the kids are having here, Dr. McKenna. Well, there sure is a lot of positive energy in this school, I'll tell you that, Mr. Smilich. And Mrs. Shab, tell us what are some, some of your perspective as a second grade teacher, what are some of the great things happening here at Dodge? Um, my class and my second graders, we're excited to wrap up our time together. We're making some special memories and celebrating all the work and learning we've done this year. We're doing some fun book clubs together. Kids are writing about our special moments we've shared. We're preparing to present our second grade play next week to families and celebrate that work together. And we're just making a few more memories before our time together is done. Well, I just had a chance to visit your class in there too. And there is a dynamic energy in her <laughs> class. I can tell you that for sure. And uh, thank you both very much. And your school has really done a magnificent job this year. Uh, I, I thank you. I thank your, your, your students, your staff, your parents, everyone. What, what a great year. Thank you both for all your efforts. And I'll tell you, Dr. McKenna, on behalf of everyone here, we couldn't have done this year without you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart from all the Dodgers here, the families, uh, the community, and the teachers and staff. Thank you so much for doing what you did this year. You got us through a very difficult time. So thank you. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Appreciate it. Join me loud and proud. Who are we? Yeah! Yeah! I couldn't hear you. We need to do it louder. Louder. Yeah! We're here at Casey Middle School and I'm with Mr. Don Meyer, Mrs. Bay, and Mrs. Murray. And we're at the Wonders of the World. Please tell us about these Wonders of the World. Well, this is a great Casey tradition in sixth grade led by Mrs. Murray and Mrs. May. We're so glad that we were able to do it this year uh, by moving it outside. And it's been a great morning with all of our students and families. It started about 13 or 14 years ago because in 2007, the world voted on seven new wonders of the world, man-made. So we took all the 21 finalists and every year we divide our kids up to represent one of the 21 finalists and each year and their goal is to persuade the visitors to choose their site as one of the new KC7 wonders of that year. The kids spend about a month and a half and they have to research, they have to create models, trifolds, and it's exciting because it's 100% their work. Mrs. May and I, are we guide them, we don't do anything for them. They have a lot of rigorous things they have to do, writing, building, um, but they do such a great job and we're super excited and so are they. They actually get screen projectors and they actually project these little cool designs on the, uh, the shells here. And it took over 10,000 construction workers and it still took 14 years to build. Stonehenge was made during the Neolithic time. It was precisely aligned to see the sunset and sundown to see when days, months, and years ended. Um, I've actually been to Stonehenge really? and I thought that it was so, there's so many wonders about it. And I love researching like that's mysterious cool. things. Yeah, it's like kind of a mystery, right? So that's what I loved about it. Petra was established in 312 BC. This would make it one of the oldest cities in the world. The city of Petra comes from the name Rock in Greek. It is most commonly known to the people as the lost city of wonder. This is truly a, a wonderful experience. We appreciate all the time and effort it took to put this in. I know that I learned a lot today too. So thank you and your students very much. I'm here at North High School with Mark Percy, the director of our planetarium. We're very fortunate in Williamsville to have this amazing planetarium. And Mark uh, made got some amazing pictures that he took of the partial eclipse uh, here that we just had in, in Western New York recently. And Mark, why don't you tell us about the pictures that you took and the big event that's coming up in 2024. All right, so at sunrise on Thursday, we had uh, just as the sun rose, about 80% of the sun was covered by the moon. And um, there's different methods to view an eclipse. You've probably seen these glasses that people use that, that make it safe to view the sun. Um, but what I was using was this device here called the sun funnel. This is actually the telescope's eyepiece, but it's been fitted with an automotive funnel and a piece of rear projection screen from the theater. And what we do is put that right in, uh, this is my small portable telescope, put it right in there, and then you get a nice image of the sun on this screen here. It's nice and safe because the focal point 
where the light's concentrated and could really hurt somebody is inside the funnel. Well, why don't you tell us about the big event that's going to be coming up uh, in 2024? Well, we are in very, very good circumstances. On April 8th, 2024, the full shadow of the moon is going to pass right over Buffalo. We are going to have a total solar eclipse on April 8th. And at the totality where the sun is completely covered by the moon, exposing the corona, beautiful streamers of light that come out from the sun, um, that'll be visible for almost four minutes. We've actually been planning for this since before the 2017 partial eclipse because it's a once in a lifetime event and I can't even tell you how excited we are about it. Well, thank you so much for, for uh, those explanations and for all the great work that you do here. We are so fortunate to have the planetarium and uh, all the work that you do here to teach our kids to integrate this into their everyday learning. It means a lot, and we really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you, Mark. Oh, my pleasure, truly. I want to give a big shout out to the Unified Basketball team that won their championship last night against Depew. Congratulations and a great job. And I want to wish everybody a fantastic weekend.